In this video, I will show you three easy hacks to fix your renders fast. So take some notes and make sure to watch till the end of this video. Let's get into it. Imagine this, you've nailed your camera angles and your composition is spot on, but the render still feels average. Don't scrap the whole thing just yet. Sometimes it's not about starting over, it's about knowing what to tweak. Let me show you how a few smart adjustments can make a huge difference. Before diving into colors, make sure your render's brightness is balanced. A poorly exposed image will never look right. Adjust the exposure so no details are lost in shadows or highlights. This gives you a clean canvas for color. For example, if part of your render is in deep shadow, lift it just enough to reveal detail. If a part of your image is glaring white, tone it down. A correct exposure sets the stage for the next tweaks. Instead of oversaturating everything, emphasize only the key colors in your scene. It's tempting to crank saturation to 100, but that often leads to a cartoonish, unrealistic look. Skilled artists do the opposite. They selectively boost the hero colors and mute the less important ones. Identify one or two focal colors that should stand out and gently dial those up. At the same time, reduce saturation in background or non-essential areas so they don't steal the spotlight. The result? Your viewer's eye is drawn straight to the important details, and your render looks vibrant yet sophisticated. Now if you want to take it a step further, applying a cinematic grade does the trick. After fixing exposure and balancing colors, you can instantly transform the mood with a preset. I'm using my Lightroom preset pack. Watch this. I select a preset, and that's it. The colors shift into a cinematic palette, think deep contrast and gentle fades in the shadows, and the whole image gains a professional look. What took hours of tweaking for me to enhance, you get in seconds. It's the fastest way to consistently level up your renders with minimal effort. If you like this type of content, then you'll be glad to know that I'm working on a series of mini courses designed to take your visuals to the next level. So, if you're interested in getting early access and exclusive perks, join the waitlist through the link in the description. Remember, to achieve scenic renders, you just need to know what to adjust. And if you're craving a faster workflow, don't hesitate to grab the preset pack. It's a shortcut to level up your renders today. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more useful techniques on rendering and post-production. And as always, have fun creating. If you want to learn more about architectural visualizations, then watch this next video right here.